Welcome back to Super Sentai Review, episode number 200, no, excuse me, 327. <laughs> this is going to be a strange one because I am discussing for Avarange episodes 26 to 29, along with an episode of an anime. Those are thinking, what? An anime? The anime uh, is called, okay, so it's translated as the the fool's uh fisherman the fisherman fool's diary the action of the series is sorry baka nakashi now we're discussing episode 31 for the series yeah this is kind of a weird one it's like okay so the star series his name is hema he, he's basically a uh, he's basically a married guy he probably is also an office worker too we start with him and a friend of his basically going fishing and then they don't catch anything. If you're curious, it's a fishing anime from what I can tell. Yes, it is really weird. And then like, and of course it's like, just don't come tomorrow, just relax. He sleeps in. And then all of the, he's like, then we start hearing Abba, 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 Abba. Basically the ending song for Abba Ranger. You're thinking, why in the world is Abba Ranger's ending song in the show? Well, it's because apparently this show has is a this episode is a crossover with Alba Ranger. Now, this is the first time I can think this has ever happened, or a Sentai I've seen it anyways has crossover with an official anime. So, <clears throat> and then like right after the, the kid sees the show, let's go see Alba Ranger live show. Now, if I read these things do exist, it's basically just a a stage show version of the show, probably featuring different actors from the TV show. Yes. Shows up the four main rangers and battling the grunts. That's it for that. The whole missing fish thing, the fish is like missing because there's this monster of Tokyo. And of course the boss basically is like, oh, let's go deal with it. And... And then, like, oh, and then they find the monster, and all of a sudden, like, you pull it up, and the monster shows up. And then the Alba Rangers show up in the series. Who, excuse me, by the way, all four are voiced by the regular actors from the TV show. Where they beat the monster, and then it turns out, when that Ranger showed up in this episode, it was all a dream by the main character, who apparently just fell over, hit his head, at the pull-up seaweed. Weird, to say the least. It gets more weird in the next episode. So, they create a monster based upon this show. Like, oh, you like that show? You have good taste. Okay. So, this monster is basically turning people into olives via fishing them for them. And for some reason, it took the main character. It took, it took the main character son of the show. Like, I'm thinking, how the heck basically did a monster from Alba Ranger go into an anime? That they're watching. Which really my apparently is a big fan of. Okay. I'm thinking. Like this is impossible. Like. It is so bizarre. And then we have the main character. Talking to the live action actors. You're like what? What is this? And, then, and of course. Basically Ryosuke just, Ryosuke just. Basically brings a TV with him inside of it. With him on his freaking motorcycle, look like looking for this fishing guy. <clears throat> oh, by the way, this is a weird moment where you have the four rangers being, you have Abba Yellow being hooked, and of course uh, Abba Blue grabs onto her, and apparently he does. She doesn't like how she grabs onto him, like he he grabs onto her, because the way it seems that she's he's maybe like it's almost like he's t almost like very close to her chest, or maybe grabbing her rear end. And then, of course, then after they let go, he lands on top of her with basically his head at her chest. Jake Gore smacks him and says, watch where you touch. Watch where, watch where you touch. Yeah, weird scene. And then, of course, like they meet the monster a little bit later. And then more weird stuff happens. Well, the main character's anime just walks on the TV. And 
you're like, what? Nick, what the heck is this? A character for anime walks in the real world? In case you're curious, though, Toei is not the first person to do this. First time to do this. Warner Bros. did the same thing with Space Jam, so this is nothing unusual. But in Super Sentai, this is so completely bizarre. Oh, yeah, and also holding these, this jar of the olives, which had all over, he turned the olives. And then, of course, he switches outfits because when you see him on TV, he's wearing a suit. He comes out, he's wearing his fisherman attire. Brings out his fishing pole. Get the hostages back and beat the monster. And, of course, like I say, oh, yeah, we'll go shop, we'll, we'll go fishing sometime. And then, of course, the obvious question is asked. How the heck they got the frickin' TV? Apparently this anime character's got dino guts. My guess is the writers probably had no idea what they are doing here. They probably thought this was cool, and it probably let the viewers scratch in their heads. This is a terrible episode. No, it is just weird. Like, the most bizarre episode I have ever seen for all the time I've seen. This is the most bizarre. Moving on from that... We're jumping straight to episode number 27. Twenty-seven, here's more weird stuff. This is nothing to be unusual. Yeah, let's have an episode where red and blue swap bodies for an episode. Yes, seriously. All because of monsters and octopus. Yeah, it is so weird, this one. <laughs> and also, they also have where the report of the episode helps them use the, the super down bomber to destroy it. And by the way, she appeared in Time Ranger. This is her one-off return. She guessed her this one episode. Uh, uh, until she pops up again in, in Go Kyger. And by the way, this woman is like 13 years older than me. Since I just turned 36, that means this woman is 45. Uh, not 45. She is 48 right now. Yes. She is 40, 48 years old. No. 49. Yeah, she's 40. Yeah, well, 48. Yeah, she's 48 years old. Mm-hmm. They even have where my basic helps out. What a weird episode. Oh my gosh, this is so weird. Yeah, and then basically we have two episodes where Reja, the apostle, comes to Earth and sees a mysterious girl who looks exactly like her. Like, everyone's like, what? what is this? And the whole plot of the episode is, oh, we have this monster kid having brides and putting on a stomach. And then eventually they get the brides out of the stomach anyway. Actually, yeah, that's actually a lie. They're not in the stomach. They're off in a warehouse. And, he's, and the plan, the reason why he's doing this. Like, why he can't these brides? Simple. To the create next generation monsters. That's the reason why. He, his, 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 basically, his goal is to pregnant all these women with monsters. I'm like, What? I'm sure if a kid watches, like, Mommy, Daddy, this is this is so stupid. Why the heck would a monster do this? This is a stupid plot. And it kind of is. The most interesting thing in this episode is that Raja shows up at Abba Keller's house. And she just hangs out with him. Yes, and leaves next episode when he's two going to date, per se. Sees the ocean, plants on the tree, gets some rowing. Yeah, and also, to get the monsters to come to Earth, get this. They contact the Crocodile Triority, because he's also part telephone. And, by the way, he first his creator as Daddy, as, as Dad. And he's like, I'll go with that. He did create him, so why not? <laughs> yes, seriously. Yeah, this is, like, so bizarre. So, they use the kissing via the phone to send this monster to Earth to bring her home. He's like, nah, I'm not going to go home just yet. Yeah. 
Oh, this whole thing also involves, like, peppers. Yes. And then, after the monster defeated, the episode ends quite interestingly with this. Rija says, says to him, as a thank you for basically having fun today, I'm bringing it down to Earth. He's like, really? Cool. And they go off down at the end of the episode. And that sets up the events in the next few episodes. Also, in 28, there's a bit of a flashback to Asuka. Apparently, Mihiho, the woman he loves, um, he actually posed her in a flashback and they got separated because they have a lot of war. Excuse me. And then, he goes nuts. He's one of the basic be the monster in the regular mode and then he goes to the giant mode. Next, and the next episode is the whole thing asleep and then he gets a vision of a new warrior. Basically, this vision is just the events of the next three episodes. Yes, this new warrior. Uh, let me explain this character first before we talk about basically its name. According to what I heard were ladies from Down Thunder, they thought this was going to be a new ranger. So they teased um, the comedy duo of the series, the male one. But they, they basically, apparently, it was planned to make him this specific ranger. And then... They decided to change their mind because they found out, oh, it is just something else. It's not a new, it's not a new ranger. It's a form for a ranger. I'll talk about that next episode. What 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 name of the form is? But I do like it though. The twenty nine basically just it's basically you could say it's pure setup for the next three episodes, and that's kind of basically what we have here. Set for for a really interesting story. I'm looking forward to watching. Because we got brand new form debuting. Looks like we can do shield. And something I have seen over and down from there. I'm not going to discuss the name of it right now. I'll discuss it at the very next episode. But next episode will debut a brand new form. I'll talk about that next time. Oh, also 29. Uh, fun thing about this one. This also is a debut of Abba Killer's Rage Mode. Yes, this is the first time it's ever seen in the series. And he's the last one to get it because, well, here's kind of the thing. Uh, the first people we see using the rage mode is the, the main three rangers. Red, blue, and yellow. Black uses it later when he finally gets restored. But one thing I've noticed though so far, you have a four-man team, and yet the Black Ranger never goes inside the Megazord. It's like he's there for support. He's basically there for groundwork and not there for being the Megazord. And it's also the first series I come across where we have probably the first time since... I'd say this is probably the first time since I'd say Google Google Five where we have the Fourth Ranger thing and he does not have a Zord, he has a cat yet where he has no cockpit. Yes. Also, this is also noteworthy for something interesting though, that uh the dino the basically the, the dinosaurs and that's what D Y N O at Sore, uh these things do not have individual cockpits. There is a joint cockpit, basically, when they form Ava O. Same thing you see in Down Thunder for the Down Thunder Megazord. But no individual cockpits. And you're like, really? Yes, really. No individual cockpits. Uh, do not know the reason for this, but who knows? But Ava Ranger is proving to be so far a really fun series to watch. And soon it's going to be taking a break. I'm taking a break from this one. I'm going to watch five more episodes and take a break. But the next video is only cover three. And the next one is going to cover basically what happens next. Now, I will discuss basically the reason we discuss 33 and 34 when I get to it. Okay? So, yes. That's going to be pretty much it for Tickler View. Please be sure to like, comment, subscribe, turn on notifications, and do not hit the dislike button. Next, next up is a comment corner, and it's right back to Sentai. Okay? Thanks, you. Bye.